let's take a look at a simple way to get a boundary for anywhere in Great Britain. The website we're going to use is called Map It. So I just Googled it, Map It, one word, and then I'm going to click on the link. And what I'll do here is I'm going to put in a postcode. So you need to know a postcode of an area you want to find. In this case, I'll use GU254 PR, and then I'll click Look Up. And what happens is it will return a point on the map where the postcode is. In this case, it's around about Virginia Water in Surrey in the south of England. And then it's going to also show you all the different geographies that that point falls within. So what I usually do is click on show full results. And here, what happens is it shows you all the different geographic units that the GU254 PR postcode sits within. So if I wanted to download the ward it's in, I can just scroll down until I see the ward. And the ward is called Virginia Water. So I'm going to click on that. And then from there, we can see the boundary of the ward on the map. And the great thing is about MapIt, which is a product of my society, completely free and open data, you can see in the geometry section, there's a GeoJSON file. There's also KML, WKT and a JSON file, but the one we want to use because it's easiest is GeoJSON. I'm going to right click this and then save link as, and then I'm going to save it to my computer. So I'll do that now while I pause the video. And I'm going to hit save. It saves the file into the folder I chose, which in this case was a folder just for MapIt files. If I pull that into screen, you can see that the file is there. It's a GeoJSON file. You don't need to know anything about what those files are, but they're just text files which have lots of coordinates in them. If I open this with a text editor, you can see it's just a list of coordinates and you can just drop it into QGIS. So I'll drag and drop it into the map canvas and then what we see is the boundary. We'll go a couple of steps further just to show you one thing you can do with this kind of thing when you've got a boundary. So if I go to the browser section on the left, I can add in a base map. If you don't see the browser panel, go to view panels and then turn your browser panel on. So I'm in the XYZ tile section. By default, you may only have open street maps. So I'll double click that and then I'll drag it in the layers panel on the left underneath. And let me turn off, untick the war data. And the map may look a bit fuzzy because we need to change the coordinate reference system in the bottom right to make sure it says 3857. If you don't see it in your list, just type into the filter box 3857 and you can choose it from the predefined coordinate reference systems. Click OK and it'll sharpen up the map. Then I'm going to turn the top layer on. On the left, I'll double click on it. I'll make sure I'm in symbology and the symbology type here is going to be the one that we want to use. Sorry, it's called inverted polygons. So a couple more styling things here. We need to click on simple fill. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag and drop the black color from the stroke to the fill to make that black as well. If I hit apply, we can see what happens. It goes all dark, but it's too dark in the background. I want to be able to see through it. So I'll click on the actual color patch with the mouse in the fill color section. And I'm just going to drag the opacity slider down. I can type in as well. So I'll type in 50 for 50%. I'll click OK. I'll hit apply. Yeah, that looks OK. But let's make the stroke color yellow. And let's make it a bit thicker and hit apply. Uh, let's try, actually, let's try red for this. Apply that, yeah, and then make it a bit thicker. That's fine. Okay, so very quickly, we went from having a postcode of an area we were interested in, and if I wanted the ward, I downloaded the ward, and what I've done here is I've created a little spotlight map of this area using an inverted polygon, and the fill is a slightly transparent black, so 50% opacity black, and I've just given it a thicker red stroke. So that's how you can go very quickly from not having any data to getting it into QGIS to creating a nice little spotlight map if you want to do that for anywhere in Great Britain.